Mazel. It's Brandy from the nursery. Can I come in? Yeah, come in. All right, wonderful. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm doing fantastic. All right, so baby's ready to try to breastfeed? I think so. All right, great. All right, so it's your first baby. Mm -hmm. All right, so no worries. Okay? Okay. Right, get you there. So what I like to do is I like to unwrap the baby, take the hat off. Okay. Tries to help, actually helps to keep the baby nice and awake. All okay, right. So let's go ahead good. and do that. Go ahead and take that off for you. So what'd you end up naming him? Ben. Oh, I like it. Baby yeah. Ben. All right, wonderful. So just go ahead and grab him. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with this, this position that you're actually kind of putting yourself in. It's okay. called a football hold. Oh, fun. Okay. okay. Just gonna put, yeah, I know, right? So we're just going to tuck his little leg. So okay. what you're going to want to do is make sure that he is belly to side. So make belly. sure he's facing the food. Okay. I'm untuck this arm for you. All right. And then the way you're holding him is good. Um, I'd maybe move this finger down just a smidge because okay. if you grab the back of their head, they tend to want to rear back. They have instinct to do that. Hmm. Okay? All right. So this position is great for first time moms. Gives you a lot of control over the baby's head. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and what we do, you've got an extra pillow here. So oh. the other thing we can do is fold this in half and give you a little bit of support. Okay. With the breastfeeding. Fixing oh the yeah, that's Fixing much. Leg over here. All right. Much there better. we go. So go ahead and pull your breast out for me. Okay. All right, and get some gloves on, and we'll get started. You have any questions before we start? Um, not so far. Okay. All right. So, the rooting that you see him doing, kind of turning towards the breast, okay. which, what you're seeing is he's rooting, okay? So he's rooting. looking for it. Because they can smell it. You smell like food. Really? So, yes. So okay. they can smell that breast smell. Absolutely. Me? Yes. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab and pull your dress back just a smidge more, okay? So you're going to want to take him. So you're going to want to look for a nice big wide open mouth, tongue down, and when he opens up nice like that, you just put it in there. All right. Other thing you can do is this little dent that's right here in your lip. Some people call it a landing strip. You hmm. can take your nipple and kind of brush it against that that strip right there. And it kind of helps him to kind of open a little bit more where you're kind of basically doing this one-handed. Okay? All right. All right. So we'll go ahead and put it up there. And I want you to get your hand a little bit further underneath there. Okay. Yes. That way your finger doesn't meet his chin. So he can really open nice and wide. Uh, okay. okay. I see. All right, so we're kind of rub against his lip here. All right, and nice big wide open mouth. And you see we use that nipple to just kind of put him in there. All right. Okay. All right, so what you're going to look for with this is no noise. So no smacking noise. No noise. Okay. Um, that usually means their tongue is up. You're also going to look for breast tissue. It kind of looks like it's doing this. Okay, nice good compression. And the baby's not going to fight the latch either. He's going to be nice and comfy. So if they don't have a good latch, they're not going to be comfortable. So they're going to kind of keep coming off. They're going to try to find it until they get it right. Okay? Okay. All right. So the other thing is making sure that you get enough. You want nipple plus areola in there. Okay? Plus areola. Yes. Okay. And what that means is you have your hard palate, hard mm -hmm. bumpy palate, and your soft squishy palate. Got to get enough breast tissue in there to get it back to that soft squishy palate. That's where it feels better. Okay? Um, and so far it is, yeah. but the way the baby's mouths are designed, they are designed to empty the nipple as well as massage those milk ducts up in the areola. And that's how you kind of make sure you have a good milk supply. If you don't stimulate those milk ducts, you're not going to have enough milk. Okay. Okay. So right. that's why another reason why you want to make sure. Plus if you don't get enough in there, it can make you really sore. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. No, we don't want that. Some soreness is normal, but it should ease off after about 30 seconds to a minute or two. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I want you to hold your breast a little bit more. You want to support them. You can lean back. You can lean, lean back. back? Okay. You can lean back. All right. Just want to support them good. They're essentially bottles attached to your body. They're okay. just primed and ready to go all the time. Oh. If you gave them a bottle, you would you would hold it for them and support it. True. You wouldn't just let go. True. The older okay. they get, the more jaw strength they get, the more neck strength they get, the less you have to support it. Okay. Okay? All right. Are you nice and comfortable? Yeah. Okay, all right, well, I'm going to let go. Kind of see how you're feeling about that. And don't be afraid to hold the baby up there. They can breathe. They can't breathe, they're going to go. <laughs> they, they have that instinct to kind of push back and try to find some air. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right, and also our noses, the tip of the nose is made to meet the breast first. From your view, it looks blocked, but from my view, it's nice and open because you can see the nostril. Oh, uh, all right. That okay? Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you hold them up there good. 
Good. Wonderful. Okay, can I get you anything? Um, no, I can't think of anything. Doing okay? Yeah. All right. If you need something, He's call doing me. it. Good. Next time we try, we're going to put them on the left side and we'll okay. try a different position. Do about 20 minutes or so on this side, switch them to the other side, okay? Um, really, minutes, they matter, but you want to kind of make sure you're stimulating both breasts. He may only do the breast, this breast, this feeding. Next time we feed him, we'll do the other side. If he wants to keep going, you call me, I'll come back, and we'll put him on the other side. All right. Okay? Sounds great. All right, wonderful. All right. Hold him up there good. There you go. All right. Call me when you're ready. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank Good job. You. You're welcome.